Hey everybody, my name is Jason Creel and you're watching The Lawn Care Life. In this video, I'm gonna show you what I'm spraying on the lawn. I'm out spraying in January and I wanna talk about what I'm spraying and I wanna show you the yard and show you the weeds and let you know what I'm spraying and show you the weeds that it will kill and the weeds that it won't kill and explain to you what you need to do for your lawn. If that sounds like a video you wanna watch, then let's get started right now. Thanks a lot. Okay, first let's take a look at the lawn. So this is a Bermuda grass lawn and I am in Alabama, outside of Birmingham, Alabama. So, you know, we deal with warm season grasses here. Bermuda is our primary grass type. We have a lot of zoysia, we have some centipede, we have some St. Augustine. But this particular lawn is Bermuda. And I wanna show you the weeds that I'm seeing here in January and talk to you about what you can be doing now for your lawn to prepare it for springtime and also to handle some of the problems in your, your yard right now. So let's check out the situation. Now, whatever I say in this video may be a little bit different in your area because we have different climates and even from year to year in the same area, the weather may be slightly different. Now we've had several hard freezes this year. So our Bermuda grass is pretty much dormant. I mean, I'm not saying if you dig around, you won't see a little speck of green somewhere, but it's pretty much fully dormant. Now there's some weeds in this lawn. Look here, here's some weeds. See those? Okay. So why do these weeds here in this dormant Bermuda lawn? These are cool season weeds. This is Poa annua, P-O-A-A-N-N-U-A. -N -N and you have that in the lawn. These are cool season weeds. You have it because of not doing a proper fall pre-emerge application. So your cool season weeds germinate in the fall, like these are in my area, typically around September and October. And if I don't get my pre-emergent out before that happens, or uh, maybe your pre-emergent didn't work and you have to try to control the post-emergent, and that's why typically we mix pre and post emergents together in application. But these weeds are best prevented in the fall. Well, in this particular situation, the reason I have a pole on this side of the yard, and actually over here you can see it's all a bunch of dirt, but I purposely did a pre-emergent application on one side of the yard and did not do it on the opposite side of the yard so I could see the results. So if I walk over here to this side of the yard, why don't I just go ahead and do that? Sorry, the yards tore up a little bit because I had a septic system put in. But if you walk over here, I did a, a pre-emergent application and there are almost no weeds. So I put out a, an application of Spectacle Flow back in the fall and put uh, Simazine in there with it. And that has pretty much controlled all the weeds in the yard. I'm not saying if you searched over the whole area that you wouldn't find a certain weed. You can see where I'm still trying to get some bald spots to fill in this summer. Again, that's not a bald spot, that's a skid steer running laps all over my yard putting in a septic system so that's a different issue but the spectacle flow and it's not the only uh, pre-emergent herbicide you can use in the fall but it does a great job on poa and other weeds and so it's pretty much kept that clean well on this side you can see where i did not apply it look at all the weeds even got a little uh, little ryegrass popping up you got a, you got a lot of poa you got all kind of stuff over here and these are cool season weeds that do well in in the cold weather. Here's some uh, hairy bitter cress. It's young right there. So, so what do you do in this situation? Well, let me take these two sides of the yard and explain two different situations. So, on the one side of the yard that's virtually clean, I'm out spraying today. So, uh, I'm spraying four things on the yard today. One of those is the surfactant, which helps the, the products to stick to the plant better. But the other three, I'm using a pre-emergent, which is called uh, prodiamine. And I'm using atrazine, which can help with some of the cool season weeds. And I'm also using a, a three-way product called triplet. So those three products is what I'm applying to the yard in this time of the year. And if I've got a yard like that's already clean and doesn't have many weeds in it, I just blanket spray the whole yard. And why am I applying those products to the yard? Well, I'm trying to prevent the warm season weeds. I'm getting out in early January. Now, do you have to do it now? No, you don't have to do it now. That somebody asked me yesterday. We were watching a football game. Somebody says, hey, uh, when do I need to, to be putting out the pre-emergent on my yard? And I said, listen, 
you just need to get it down before the crabgrass germinates, which in our area is typically sometime in, in March. So I told him, I said, just put it out sometime in February. Well, we wanna, we do two applications. I do what's like split pre-emergent application. So I put one application out starting in, in early January until I get finished with all my yards and then do another application after that. And you're hoping that that prevents a lot of your warm season grasses, including including crabgrass. Now that application will, will do a little bit if you've got some cool season weeds in your yard, it's gonna help with that. It's not gonna control the poa annua. Uh, there's some other weeds it's not gonna control, but if you've got some broadleaf weeds popping up in your yard, it will definitely do great wonders for that with the, the triplet, the three-way product I was telling you about, and actually they will help take care of those broadleaf weeds. Now you're saying, Jason, what if I got, what if I didn't do a, a fall pre-emergent? I've got the cool season weeds in my yard, not just the broadleaf easy ones. I don't just have, you know, a bunch of dandelions and hen bit and things like that. I've got, uh, you know, poa and things, you know, grassy weeds like this. You got poa, maybe your whole yard. I see yards in January and February and they're turning real green. You say, wow, look how green that yard is. Actually, the grass is still dormant and the whole yard's covered with poa. So you see how this looks pretty green? The grass is not green, the poa's green. And then you may have ryegrass clumps popping up in your yard. And it's not a ryegrass yard, it's a warm season. Uh, lawn that has cool season grasses pop up in it. So what can you do in this situation? Well, in those situations, uh, there's a lot of products for POA. You can use uh, revolvers a product, you can use Celsius a product, Katana's a product, Negate's a product. And a lot of these will also work on the grassy weeds. You can use Tribute Total on, on both of those. Um, for, for me personally, the grassy weeds, like if I've got a, a clump of ryegrass like this popping up in the yard, I can spray it with a product called Katana, K-A-T-A-N-A, -A, and it works fantastic on it. Now, when the weather's cooler, it's gonna be slower than uh, as it gets warmer on up closer to spring and the temperatures start getting up in the 70s, these uh, herbicides are gonna work faster. But for now, it will work and it does control those weeds. Katana also works on POA, but you know, Negate or Revolver or something like that, or Tribute Total or Celsius, something like that, um, is also good options for those. Again, it's not gonna be an overnight kill, it's gonna be a little bit slow. Here's another one that when I spray a lawn, whether I even put out the pre-emergent in the fall or spray it in, in early in the year with, with a triplet, a three-way product, it doesn't seem to get this weed very well. This, this is called Field Matter. Field M A, I believe it's spelled D D E R instead of T T E R, but Field Matter, and it has little purple flowers on it later on. You can see a bunch of it. So when I'm walking a yard, I'm spraying the pre-emergent in January or February, and I'm trying to prevent crabgrass and warm season weeds and get rid of cool season weeds. I gotta be observing, knowing which weeds am I looking at in the yard that this application is not gonna control. It's not gonna control the POA. It's not gonna control the field matter. It's not gonna control, you know, ryegrass clump in the yard. So I have to come back with a specialty product to get those. Again, I listed off some of those products uh, previously in the video. Other things it's not gonna control is like a, a wild onion or wild garlic. You might hit that with blindside or something like that, or put a little metzofuron in your mix to help control those weeds. So there's a lot of options here, and you just, as you get more experience, you'll learn when you're applying a blanket application, what's gonna die, what's not gonna die, and what specialty products you need to control those tough weeds. Wintertime is also great for a Bermuda lawn that goes dormant to be able to go after tough grassy weeds like Dallas grass. And you can actually use a, a, a non-selective herbicide like like uh, glyphosate or something like that to go after weeds like douse grass that are really difficult to control any other time of the year. You can work on them in the fall with products like Tribute Total or mixing Celsius and Certainty together is a good combination for Dallas grass. But in the winter time when, with dormant Bermuda, when it's fully dormant, is a good time on a warm day to go after it with a, a non-selective herbicide like glyphosate or another product that you wanna use uh, that can control that weed in the dormant Bermuda line. You don't wanna try that so much in Centipede or Zoysia or St. Augustine because a lot of times in my area especially, um, they don't go fully dormant and it's not on the label where actually a dormant Bermuda grass is labeled uh, for glyphosate. If you don't have a big tank sprayer like I do, 
then you know, a lot of the times these products will come in a granular form. So you can get a granular version of prodiamine and put it out and it needs to be watered in. But again, if, you, if you're in the early part of the year, you got warm season grass and you wake up and it looks like this and you've got green patches all over it, you got something that looks like this, then most likely the reason is you did not put out a fall application. So if you'll put out that fall pre-emergent application, it will greatly reduce the amount of weeds. Now I can come in there with the three-way product and um, control these weeds and also mixing that with the prodiamine to help prevent the summer weeds. So just to simplify it for you, when I spray in the fall, I've got a pre-emergent in there that I'm trying to prevent cool season weeds with and I have a post-emergent in the mix also that I'm trying to get rid of maybe warm season weeds that are still hanging around in the fall and also cool season weeds that may have already germinated. Now, move forward to January, February, March time frame. I'm using a pre-emergent and a post-emergent again, or maybe a combination of different ones. And But you got, you're trying to, at this point, you're trying to finish off any cool season weeds that are hanging around, which is mostly what I see in the lawn. You know, you might see stuff like chickweed or something like that, or you got, you know, geranium, you got cud weed. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of weeds in the yard, especially if you didn't do a fall application. So when you spray it, uh, you're trying to finish those off with a th three-way product like triplet, or maybe you're just using 2,4-D or something like that. Um, but then you also got your pre-emergent in there, which I use prodiamine, and that's trying to prevent your warm season weeds. So you're trying to do multiple things at the same time when you're working on the lawns. As a general rule of thumb, preventing your weeds is much cheaper and more effective than getting rid of them with a post-emergent. Now, just to clarify, when you put out a pre-emergent, you're not actually stopping the weed from existence. Like it does uh, begin to germinate. And basically what it does in many cases, it takes, it stops the root from growing so that the plant, you'd ultimately never see the plant in your yard. Um, so, you know, you say preventing it, it's not necessarily preventing, but it will, it's preventing in a sense that you'll never actually see it. And again, that is typically much cheaper and more effective than going after it from a post-emergent standpoint, especially in a situation where you got POA, sometimes people say, oh, you know, Spectacle Flow or maybe these other pre-emergents, they have a cost to them. Yes, they do, but so do the post-emergents that you have to use to get rid of them once you have the weeds in your lawn. Those can be challenging and you have to go in there and try to clean up a yard that has weeds. It's just best if, if the customer or you as the homeowner never see the weeds in your lawn to start with with a proper pre-emergent application. All right, I'm gonna wrap the video up by showing you the actual products I mentioned in the video some of them at least, and then we'll conclude the video. All right, so here's some of the products you can see here, active ingredient prodiamine. This is Resolute 65WG. If you don't have a tank sprayer, you can use it, uh, get in a granular form. It might be a 007 with prodiamine, or sometimes it'll be 007 with dimensions, another pre-emergent you could use. This is atrazine. This is actually a restricted use. Uh, herbicide, so you probably have to have a uh, applicator's license to be able to get that, but you don't have to use that. There's, there's other products out there um, if you're you know, a homeowner, but Triplet is the three-way product I was mentioning. It's got 2,4-D in it uh, and, and some other products. So, you know, this is a combination that you use early in season to help uh, get rid of your cool season weeds and also, again, using the Prodiamine to help prevent your warm season weeds. You want to get it down before the crabgrass germinates. Again, in my area, it's typically around March, but they can change depending on the weather patterns. Appreciate you watching the video. If this sounds confusing to you, I'm sorry, I don't want to try to be confusing. I'm trying to explain it and help you make sense of understanding what you're trying to do. But if you're looking to get into the weed control and fertilization business and you just don't know where to start, or you need somebody to help you, we are offering training programs now. We've got a uh, coaching program that I spent over a year putting together. I didn't work on it every day, but it took a long time. Uh, that's available. And then there's also gonna be an eight week a program, a, a live interactive program. We're limited into 20 spots starting in March of 2021. I'm gonna try to offer this twice a year and uh, you can sign up for that as well. And you'll also get the other courses that come with it. So you can watch it on your own and then have 
uh, time to interact and there's private Facebook group and all that so that you can get help if this is something that you're looking to do for your business. Those resources are over at LawnCareLife.com. Check them out there. I'm Jason Creel. Talk to you guys later. Bye.